the real damaging aspect of mercury toxicity that most people don't understand. Uh, you know, we have a compound in our body called glutathione. It's the highest concentration small molecule inside of cells, and it's there to protect us from toxins and oxidation reactions that, uh, you know, oxidative stress, etc. cetera. Uh, in all of these neurological diseases we're talking about, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, ALS, MS, the one thing that happens with all of them is that they have very, very low intracellular glutathione levels. Their glutathione levels somehow have been decreased, and that's how we say they're under oxidative stress. And I would submit to anybody that nothing causes oxidative stress faster and better and more completely than mercury exposure. Now, when you have this problem with oxidative stress, what happens? Mercury goes in and sets on a mitochondrial electron transport chain. And it turns that mitochondria, electron transport chain, into a hydroxy free radical manufacturing plant. Where it used to make ATP now, that electron transport system is now making hydroxy radicals because that end is blocked and inhibited by mercury. And then you get a huge flood of hydroxy radicals, which is the toxic compound that's produced in the body during inflammation or oxidative stress that causes us to age, get sick, causes our cells to fall apart. So mercury induces oxidative stress. And so you get this plethora of hydroxy radicals that causes the cells essentially to die. In my latest few years of research is to develop compounds that would get inside the cells that would scavenge these hydroxy radicals and prevent that damage. The uh, problem with most antioxidants, the kind you drink in juices that are water soluble, is that they can't get inside of cells and they can't cross the blood brain barrier. They can't get into the bone marrow. So we developed a, a lipid soluble antioxidant that goes inside of cells, crosses the blood brain barrier, and it has one of the best hydroxy radical scavenging uh, uh, measurements known to man. It's incredible in how well it, it prevents oxidative stress by binding and uh, neutralizing the hydroxy radicals. And in doing so, this allows the glutathione levels that you make to recover uh, when you have high glutathione, that's how you get rid of uh, organic toxins out of your body. The body attaches water insoluble toxicant to a thing called a P450 system to glutathione. That makes it water soluble and that glutathione ushers this toxin out of the cell, into the bloodstream and, through, and, and into the biliary transport system and into the feces and that's how you detox from a lot of toxic materials. And so if we can raise the glutathione levels up, the body can detox itself. And I would point out that the way mercury leaves a healthy mammalian body is complex to two atoms, two molecules of glutathione. So if, if it inhibits its own synthesis and you get an overwhelming, at one point in time, it can inhibit all the enzymes that make glutathione, and the drop in glutathione can be, uh, you know, it's what we call oxidative stress, and it's, it's something difficult to get over.